Alrighty then. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. So let's talk about what I'm doing today for this video. I have, maybe you guys have heard me before, if you watch my Twitch live streams, which I am back on, so make sure you check those out. Um, I have mentioned on Instagram too that I am officially for the first time in my life, reading the Harry Potter books. Now, I didn't feel right when I wanted to, to read the Harry Potter books. Um, I didn't really feel right reading them from my Kindle because for so long, they used to just not be available on the Kindle reader and now they are. And so I kind of went to the library in Amazon and they had Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, but I actually had an actual actual book sitting in my closet from when I moved from my old house. Now I have a lot of stuff all over my shelves in my closet and I just kept walking by and walking by and seeing the little book like hanging out one of the boxes and I just kept thinking I should read that and I just kept ignoring it. So, <laughs> um, so finally uh, you guys are probably wondering why have I not read the Harry Potter books? How dare I not read them? I don't know. I just uh, back when I was younger I wasn't allowed to read them and then I just grew up just watching the movies and then here I am uh, Graduated from college and all of a sudden I I'm reading the Harry Potter books and I mean they're fantastic and what made me want to read them was because somebody recently made fun of me uh, for not reading the Harry Potter books and he he made me ashamed to call myself a Harry Potter fan and I was just like okay well I finally went back into that box where I saw my little copy of the Sorcerer's Stone hanging out this whole time and I grabbed it sat down and I started reading it and I have got to tell you guys you're probably just like you you're you probably already just know what I'm feeling but it is so different from the movies. If you only grew up watching the movies like I did, then you, it's all, it's, I don't want to say it's all wrong. The first, second, the first and second movie, they kind of got it a little bit, but there are just so many bits and pieces and they just left out so much and it just pulls the story more together and it just all kind of makes sense to me and now i mean i just feel myself becoming more and more of a harry potter fan like i'm a true fan now and <laughs> i can't i can't believe that it took me so long to read these books because i mean this is probably the third sorcerer stone book that i have owned but i just kept getting rid of them and getting rid of them so anyways I had a huge problem. I needed a bookmark for my books because I kept doggy earing them. I ruined my Chamber of Secrets book with uh, coffee. Absolutely killed it. So it got it it got completely ruined. So I I just didn't care about keeping the bind uh, keeping the binding together on that one. And I had a couple of bookmarks that you guys actually sent to me through my mail, my P.O. box, and I was using those and I kept losing them. So eventually I'll most likely lose the bookmark that you see me drawing right now. I wanted to make a fun little doodle Harry Potter notebook, something that I made and just to have and I can lose it on my own because I felt bad about losing all the bookmarks that you guys sent me. <laughs> so I was like, that's it. I'm making my own, my own bookmark for my Harry Potter journey. So I usually don't really doodle this small. It's I have a huge problem with drawing too large and I don't I don't like I mean I go in sketching these out but at the same time it's just like in my mind I see myself doodling that small but at the same time it's just like they get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and it's really hard for it's a challenge for me to do those small especially this small and that little Hogwarts I think the little Hogwarts and me hiding the Illuminati at the bottom is by far my favorite part of this little bookmark and oh my gosh the animals on the Hogwarts houses were so hard to make because my mind just kept thinking oh, I need more room to make this lion and I can't show his teeth or this train doesn't fit and <laughs> my mind is fighting what I want to do doodle out and it's just like oh everything that I want to draw is too large. <laughs> I don't know how many of you actually like have that challenge where you draw too large. I know a lot of artists especially some of my students that I'm teaching in my cartoon art class um, they have 
Some of them have a huge problem with drawing too big and some of them have a problem with drawing way too small. So I always go up to them and I'm like, I got a challenge for you. How about you make that character about half as big as your page? <laughs> and they always look at me like, how dare you? <laughs> In my mind, I wanted to include like Quidditch and the Nimbus 2000 and I don't know, Dobby. I, you know, I actually like Dobby after reading the books. In the movie, he, I, he annoyed the crap out of me. And then reading about him in the book, I was just like, okay, I feel for this little guy. I like Dobby now. <laughs> and I really, I mean, I know what's going to happen in all the, all the books. I know what's going to happen just because I watched all the movies before I read the books. But if you're always, if you always think that, oh, I don't need to read the books because I've seen all the movies, chances are the movies really warped and distorted that book just because they have a budget and they have to fit a whole uh, 600, 700 page book into a one and a half hour movie. So a lot of things do have to get cut out, but the books are amazing. And if you haven't read them yet, you have got to read them. And I've never used laminating paper before, and this was such a struggle. <laughs> I've never used it before. I can't believe I've never used laminating paper before. But here is my little bookmark. I hope you guys enjoyed this little rant. Leave in the comments down below. Have you read all the Harry Potter books? You probably have. <laughs> but yeah, this was really fun. I really like the way my bookmark turned out because now I can use this and now I won't have to lose any more of the bookmarks that you guys sent to me through my P.O. Box mail, mail openings. So now I can lose my own bookmark and I laminated it because I spilled coffee on one book. Chances are I'm going to spill coffee all over my other book. So how dare I? I am a book killer. <laughs> but yes, this is the one I'm currently on, the prisoner of bleh, the prisoner of the prisoner of the prisoner of Azkaban. I love it, and I can't wait to get to the Goblet of Fire. And it's a wonderful, wonderful thing. And I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye. <laughs>